Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change any Android device into a Nexus 5. Now, what? how can you do this, you may ask? Well, you're getting the full Nexus style experience in all its glory on your device. Now, first and foremost, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Droid Life. This is the website that provided all the links for this. Uh, so, uh, big shout out to Droid Life. Um, now, when you go to their website, I will have the link in the description down below, but this is all of the apps that they had um, come out. Now, this is a little bit older. Um, I am hoping to find uh, certain newer apps and I'll explain uh, the differences and like glitches that will come out towards the end. Uh, but first and foremost, you do need to download Google Play services. So this is the first one you need to download. After that, you do need uh, the Google Search and Google Home. So those are the ones you need in order to get this experience. After that, all the other ones, you can feel free if the more stock Google you want. These are all the stock Google apps as opposed to the Samsung or HTC LG versions of them. Now, uh, important to note, you do not need to now download Hangouts, however. Hangouts has been updated to the Play Store, so you no longer need to download that one. Um, it's been updated already, so you do not need the Hangouts version. However, for the other ones, you do want it, and this will give you all the features. So you can say, okay, Google, right on your home screen, and it'll work just fine. Um, you do have all of the Google Apps experience as well and um, just give you an idea of how you do this. So once you download all the files, I'm going to go back to my regular uh, version of Android, um, you're going to have a new app inside your device and it's gonna be called Launcher. Now, once you tap Launcher for the first time, you're going to get this pop-up. So, uh, depending on how many uh, ways you've changed your device, you might only have two options. Uh, so mine would normally be Touch with Home and Launcher. Those would be the ones that come with the device. Once I hit Launcher, then I hit Always, and now it'll always be this is the Launcher. So um, once I have this, I have all of the uh, Google experience apps and the ones that um, come with the device. So it's really nice for you to have this, um, especially it's very simple, very quick as you can see, it's very uh, smooth in all of its transitions. Now, what are the downsides to this? Um, the things that are being still worked out right now is uh, the search itself. Um, sometimes uh, when you click links, so for instance stocks, when I click stocks, it doesn't load properly thereafter. Also, depending on what I ask Google now, like if it's a question, it's having some issues with it at times. So um, if I find a newer version of Google search, I will uh, put it in the description down below because that's only with the search APK or file. So if we have a newer version, that would solve that problem, no, um, no issues with it. Other than that, um, that's the uh, main issue that I've seen. Uh, depending on the device I put this on, sometimes the SD cards are kind of acting funny, like it's removed. The reason is because Nexus doesn't use SD cards. So um, I've seen that happen on an issue uh, with that. Those are the only two problems I've come across. If you guys come in and cross any other problems, feel free to comment down below. Let me know which device you're using and what issue you're having. Other than that, it's been a great experience. I mean, and just to give an idea of how it looks to the Nexus 5 itself, you can see we have a very um, pretty much identical experience on both devices. So when we tap it, we're pretty much getting the same kind of experience as the Nexus 5. So really good for that purpose. If you guys have any questions on it, feel free to ask. Um, sorry, I have this one kind of brighter. Now it's about the same brightness, just so you can see it more clearly. Uh, but yeah, if you have any other questions on it, feel free to ask. Um, and please give a like and thumbs up if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.